Mickey Rabbit here over by Lincoln Center in Manhattan where behind me in just a little while they will be having a special ceremony honoring the 40th anniversary of the most famous children's television show in the world, Sesame Street. Because Sesame Street has always been produced here in New York and inspired by its many diverse neighborhoods, today the city is ceremoniously renaming the one block stretch of West 64th Street in honor of the show and the famous group fair which has since stretched all over the world on TV. So let's go right now to the celebration. On behalf of Mayor Bloomberg, I want to thank everyone for joining us today. I'm George Fertitta, the CEO of NYC and Company, the city's marketing, tourism, and partnership organization. We are here today to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Sesame Street. Which will air tomorrow on PBS with a very special guest, our First Lady, Michelle Obama, 40 years to the day of the first episode. As you know, over the decades, Sesame Street has become an American institution. Generation after generation has grown up with Big Bird, Elmo, Bert, and Ernie, and many others. But the truth is, Sesame Street is above all, from our point of view and from the mayor's, a New York City institution. From the outset, New York City was an inspiration for the show, which, as you know, modeled many of its sets and backdrops on the city's architecture. The famous 123 Sesame Street brownstone is reminiscent of many of the buildings and homes along Amsterdam and Columbus Avenues. The Sesame Street Broadway subway station was a reconstruction of the original 72nd Street station on the Upper West Side. Landmarks such as Central Park, the Metropolitan Museum, and Union Square have been featured in numerous shows. In season 15, Gordon and Snuffy even ran the New York City Marathon. <laughs> and most recently, several characters became New York City tourism ambassadors, offering visitors and New Yorkers tips and suggestions for getting around our city. As you can see, the connection between Sesame Street and New York City is an exceptional one. One that will continue to foster and grow. We are linked together forever. It is now my great pleasure to introduce to you the President and CEO of Sesame Workshop, Gary Nell, to speak about the program's significant milestone. Gary? George, thank you so much. And you know, there's so many people to thank today. Obviously, the mayor um, and internally. Uh, a tip of the hat to um, Sherry Weston and to Ellen Lewis for making this really happen. You know, it's fitting that the children of New York City have um, chased the clouds away and gotten us a sunny day, don't you think? For it was 40 years ago that Sesame Street premiered across America to forever change our nation's television landscape, indeed our nation's landscape. It was revolutionary to put a children's show in an inner city neighborhood, a street outside, as John Stone put it, where it's really happening, where the action is, just like out here in the middle of Broadway. And, jo and John was recruited along with Jim Henson, with Frank Oz, with Dave Connell, with Joe Raposo, and so many more, creating an original team that developed and produced Sesame Street. As Joan likes to say, collectively, they were a genius. Now this humility is typical of our founder, or as Elmo calls her, Sesame Street's mommy. A public affairs producer who envisioned a world where we could harness the power of television to teach. And what a vision it was to last 40 years, with many more years to come, 
And, and now to over 140 countries around the world making Sesame Street indeed the longest street in the world. Now this vision would earn countless awards. We've won more Emmys than any show in television history. And Joan herself has been given the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So on behalf of the millions of kids who have benefited from your vision and from all of your employees here at Sesame Workshop and across the street, we say thank you, Joan, for being our mentor and our guiding light all these years at Sesame Workshop. And now it's my deep privilege to introduce Joan Gans Cooney along with the cast of Sesame Street. Come on up. celebration and to do with some of the people who started the show with me. Um, it's an amazing, we've had amazing staying power. Uh, others in this group came very early on, so we not only have originals, but those who have been here maybe for only 30 years. <laughs> so it's truly magnificent to see Sesame Street reach this milestone. When we started, we weren't sure that we could make it past the first season. We only had money for a single season. So this is a little surreal for me, but wonderful to see Sesame Street achieve such a landmark. Thank you to NYC and Company and the City of New York for bestowing Sesame Street with this proclamation and wonderful sign. And most of all, uh, uh, New York has been an inspiration, a backdrop, a playground, and most of all, a home for the show for all of its 40 years. And even though Sesame Street has evolved and grown into the longest street in the world, its heart and soul were shaped here and remain among these streets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's thanks to, to many that Sesame Street is the success it is. It's thanks to these talented performers that make them... <laughs> that make the Muppets and the humans the irresistible characters they are. Thanks to our executive producer, Carol Lynn Perini, who keeps the spirit of the show. She keeps the spirit of the show fresh for today's audience. And thanks to Gary Nell, the president and CEO of the workshop, for continuing to push the boundaries of Sesame Street around the world. Across media platforms and reinforcing the mission that we have had since day one. Today we are all residents of Sesame Street, and I hope the joy and value of the show will continue to inspire children to dream bigger and bigger dreams for many years to come. Thank you so much. This has been my privilege. It's my privilege. Thank you, uh, Gary, and thank you so much, Joan, and congratulations on 40 amazing years. To speak a little bit more about Sesame Street's importance and commitment to the city, I'd like to call, if I could, 
uh, Julian Cho, Associate Commissioner from the Mayor's Office of Film, Theater, and Broadcasting. Julian. Thank you, George. On behalf of the Mayor's Office of Film, Theater, and Broadcasting, it is such a pleasure to be here today to celebrate Sesame Street's astounding achievement of 40 seasons on television. The television production industry is worth billions to New York City, and Sesame Street has always been at the forefront of children's television, playing an important role in the lives of generations of young people as they learn their ABCs with Big Bird, yeah. <laughs> how to count with who else but the count, and how to share with others by watching Elmo, Grover, and Cookie Monster do the same thing on TV. From the beginning, Sesame Street has prided itself on presenting a multicultural world that promotes education and is inclusive of everyone. As a result, the show has become a model for children's television across the globe. And as Gary mentioned, a version of Sesame Street can be seen in over 140 countries around the world, including places like India, South Africa, Jordan, and Mexico. Yay! It's estimated that Sesame Street <laughs> provides the building blocks of literacy for approximately 12 million children each week in the United States alone. We are so proud that Sesame Street has always called New York City home. And as a Made in New York show, it pumps $135 million into the city's economy each year and employs 300 individuals who work in every aspect of the show, from writers to designers to camera operators and puppeteers. Our young New Yorkers have learned so much over the years. And what better way to celebrate the diversity of New York City than by celebrating the most diverse street in the city. Congratulations, Sesame Street, on 40 fantastic years. Thank you, Julian. Now, if I may, on behalf of our mayor, Mike Bloomberg, I would like to acknowledge and show you this proclamation from the city of New York proclaiming today Sesame Street Day for all the city of New York. is the sign behind us, which is now Sesame Street. And on behalf of the city of New York, the mayor, and all the millions of people that have benefited from this extraordinary, extraordinary influence on our lives, thank you so much to Sesame Street. Thank you. Photo op. <laughs> I still see you, so it's okay. I know, but I'm... Oh, that's not funny! 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 Oh, that's not funny!
show's been made as believe the reason it's been so successful is because many of its characters and its formula have stayed the same. Children sure, could well be around for another 40 years. Kath Turner. Congratulations. How does it feel to be on the street that's only 40 years old? Uh, well, it's the newest street in the city, isn't it? I guess so, but you know, they're renaming streets here all the time. Tomorrow it won't be uh, Sesame Street. It's going back to the old name. Actually, I thought it would be the corner across the street. Thank oh. you very much. Yeah. And I, I loved so. you in the Night in the Museum, too. <laughs> living on a street that's only 40 years old. Well, it's a young street, but so am I. I'm only six years old. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we love Sesame Street, and I hope everybody gets to see right. Sesame right. Street. Right. We could from it. Sesame Street is a wonderful place where you learn all kinds of things, particularly if you're young. But if you're not young and you have a little one that is young, it's fun to sit with them and watch the show, because we try to make sure that it's funny. Yes, for everybody. I've always thought it was funny. I, I was always left in stitches, and for a puppet, that's <laughs> that's not hard to do. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, listen, Rapid T, it's awfully nice talking to you, and uh, keep wailing. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I hop. That's what I do. Oh, that's oh, that's right. You hop. Yeah. Keep hopping happy. Yeah, and you do. Congratulations, Sam. Okay. Thanks. Wow, what a great birthday party for the happiest street in the world. And it was fun to be here for it. I'd like to thank my Sesame Street friends, Big Bird and Oscar the Grouse, for inviting me over. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep having happy. Bye now. You're on the happiest street in the world. The happiest street in a beautiful world. 
Yes, and the first thing you have to do to stay healthy is always wash your hands. Come on, wash your hands with down mouth. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> Next, try to avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Elmo's not touching. And when you have to sneeze or cough, do it into the bend of your arm. Uh, sneeze into your arm with Elmo. Ah, uh, uh, too. Yeah, great job. <laughs>